Hello friends, now I am going to talk about what is salt and what are the types and uh, as we know that salt is the one that has been produced because of the neutralization of an acid and base. So there are various types. So this is the lecture that we are going to talk about what is salt and uh, what are the various types of salt. So let us talk about it. So now let us understand what is actually salt. So salt is nothing but an ionic uh, substance that has been produced because of the neutralization of an acid and base. So obviously when we know that is when an acid is reacted with a base, whether it would be a weak acid or strong acid. So generally it has been termed in this way whether an acid is reacted with a base. So therefore it will form salt. So we'll get salt and a small uh, that is a molecule of that is H2. Because acids are the one which know, uh, which has been known to have that is uh, H plus ions and um, which on dissolution gives H plus ions and base are the one which consists of the hydroxyl group that is OH uh, group and which on dissolution will give uh, that is uh, OH uh, minus ions. So therefore that H plus and that OH minus ion they will combine with each other so as to form H2. But meanwhile the other products or the other ionic species they will combine with each other so as to form salt. So therefore Basically, we could say that is uh, during a neutralization of an acid and base, salt and water has been produced, and that is the reason that we are going to talk about the salt. And even this is of different type. The reason behind that is because salt can be produced from a strong acid, from a strong base, or either from a strong acid, weak base, or either from a weak acid, strong base, or either from a that is weak acid as well as a weak base. So that makes the salt to be. Uh, originated from different kind of uh, that is uh, from different kind of the acid and as well as of base and that is a combination that uh, will result in the formation of the salt so that is the reason that uh, the salts are been divided into that is four categories and what are those let us talk about it so talking about the first one that i am going to talk about is basically uh, the salt which has been produced because of uh, that is um, strong acid as well as strong base so therefore for that this is the type one that i am going to talk about and that is basically the salt derived from strong acid so these are the salt that are been derived from salt uh, that is uh, as well as say from strong base so let me give you an example so this is the example that we uh, already did in our school level but still uh, for example if I take a strong acid just like that of HCl and if I combine with uh, that of a strong base suppose and that is uh, NaOH so obviously we will get to know that is NaCl is the one that has been formed as well as along with that that is H2. So this is what we have and uh, again suppose another example if I would talk about like that of uh, like that is HCl along with that of that is KOH. So in this case the salt that has been produced is basically KCl and uh, along with that of the H2. So in this case if we observe then we will get to know that is uh, the salt formation it depends on the acid as well as it depends on the base means if it is a strong acid as well as if it, is, if it is a strong base then the salt is being produced in that manner where we could get uh, the salt would be more easily uh, that is uh, it will be soluble in water and that's the reason that NaCl when dissolved in water it, it becomes more soluble because it has been derived from a strong acid as well as from a strong base. So similarly we could also uh, make uh, an, another example like suppose if I am talking about that is uh, HNO3 when it is reacted with that is KOH so obviously we will get to know that is the KNO3 is the product that we could get and the rest is basically H2. So talking about this thing as the H2 has been produced in this case and the salt has been uh, uh, that is it has been dissolved in the H2 because as we know that it is very highly soluble in water but even the salt can react with the water and that kind of thing because it is especially reacting with the water so therefore that kind of process is basically known as hydrolysis and what is hydrolysis we are going to talk in our next uh, topic and uh, suppose if that uh, salt has been reacted with any kind of other solvent so that is basically known as solvolysis and uh, so that's it and what we are, have made uh, a type that is uh, a salt derived from a strong acid as well as a strong base. So now let us understand uh, the second. Salt derived from that is strong acid and weak base. So let me give you an example in this case. So we have to take a uh, 
strong asset uh, and a weak base so for that uh, we obviously know that uh, Excel is the one that is commonly we know it as a strong asset so suppose that asset has been detected with a weak base and we know that ammonium uh, that is ammonium hydroxide or we could call it as NH4OH so this is the one that is basically a weak base so when we react it with HCl so obviously we we'll get to know that a salt will be a salt will be formed so in this case basically NH4 which is having a positive charge and Cl which is having a negative charge so they will combine with each other so as to get uh, that is NH4Cl along with that of water molecule that is H2 so because this NH4Cl or any kind of salt uh, it it is made up of a positive uh, cation and a negative anion so that is the reason that they are called to be the ionic product of uh, the neutralization of, of an acid and base and that is what we have got over here but this salt is basically originated or it has been derived from a strong acid as well as a weak base so this is it uh, I want to talk about and let us talk about the another one suppose if I take uh, the strong acid like this one that is uh, HNO3 and if I am reacting with uh, a weak base like this one only that is NH4OH suppose so in this case what I could get is that is NH4 NO3 so that would be the product that I would get so therefore NH4 NO3 is the product that I could get and the rest part is basically water so even this is salt but this are the salt that have been derived from strong acid and a weak base so these are the two types that I wanted to showcase until yet and now let us move on to the third type salt derived from weak acid and strong base so that is what uh, I want to talk about and the first thing is obviously we have to take a weak acid and we have to take a strong base and on neutralization of that we will get a particular uh, salt along with that of water so let us understand that uh, for weak acid that we know that is the uh, acetic acid is the common uh, acid that we know it is known to be weak acid the reason behind that is it doesn't dissociate completely uh, when it has been dissolved in uh, water or it is dissolved in a solvent so that's the reason that it has been called as a weak acid so that's the reason we are taking a weak acid that is acetic acid and we have to take a strong base and the common uh, strong base that we know is basically NaOH so therefore I will take it over here as NaOH so the salt that we are going to get is basically that is this H is the positive part of the acid while uh, this is the negative part while in case of the Na it is positive while this is negative part so therefore obviously that is uh, this two uh, opposite charge they will attack each other and so as to form an ionic product so therefore we could get that is ch3 coona along with that of h2 so this is the product that we have got and this is known as sodium acetate and uh, even this is very uh, ionic in nature and most uh, of all it is very much soluble in uh, that is water because it is a salt and most of the salt are very easily soluble in water so this is what we have got over here and uh, that's it and uh, even I can take another example uh, where I have to take a, a basically a uh, weak acid and I have to react it with a uh, that is uh, a strong base so for example if I'm talking about KCN so if I'm talking about uh, that is uh, HCN and if I'm reacting with a that is a strong base and that is basically like uh, I would say like KOH suppose. so in this case I would get uh, that is the salt that is KCN along with that of H2 so even this uh, is the example uh, where we could say that this is a kind of salt that is been derived from weak acid as well as a strong base so now let us move on to the next one the next possibility that we could say that is uh, a salt which is derived from weak uh, acid as well as from weak base so therefore So now this is what we are going to talk about and uh, let us talk about how can we derive a basically uh, a salt uh, from a weak acid and a weak base so for that uh, I have to take an example of a weak acid along with that of a weak base so the common example that we know about the weak acid is basically CH3COOH that is acetic acid and we have to react with the weak base so therefore that is NH4OH So in this case, uh, the thing that we could get is uh, we could get uh, a product uh, that is uh, salt, and in that case, that is this CH3COO will react with that is NH4 because NH4 is the one that consists of positive charge, while the OH one that consists of negative charge, and even H plus it consists of 
H consists of positive charge while the rest of the acid ion ion that consists of that is negative charge. So that is the reason that we could get that is CH3 COO NH4 as uh, the salt and uh, the rest of is water. So this is what we have got and uh, that is a salt that is derived from a weak acid as well as a weak base. So therefore these were the types uh, of the salts that I wanted to mention about and uh, that's it. Uh, we have also talked about what is salt and uh, the types. So thank you friends for watching this video. I hope you have understood this video and uh, you will share this video with your friends and yes, don't forget to subscribe to channel. Thank you so much.